All right, since I'm not publicly talking about my diet. <laughs> oh God, I, I just feel like I need to confess something. Since I, where, where are you? Here we are. When was that? Saturday? Since Saturday and um, I've been dieting now. It's six weeks. It's six weeks. Wait, I can tell you how many days. Wait, oh, yeah, we got... Oh, shit. What did I knock over? Oh, what didn't I knock over? Yeah, we're a bit of a hot mess moment because we've been buying everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. All right. Yeah. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Well, I have all my dates. Wait. Can't tell you. But I can tell you that it's day 43 on my diet. It's doing excellent. Absolutely fantastic. This new diet kicks ass. I have, for the first time in my life, six weeks. It's been, it's been six weeks. I have lost weight every week. I have not missed one, one week. I eat the same thing all the time. It's a fasting thing. It's a thing. It works. Let me tell you, this diet works. The problem is, you are allowed to go off it one day a week. You can have everything you want. Everything. I never do that. Never. Never, 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 never. Did. But on Saturday, y'all know I went to the city. And I had gluten. I do not eat bread. No, I don't touch the starch. It's like the forbidden fruit. Adam and Eve, we stay away from that. But oh no, we had the freaking Krispy Kreme. All right, we had that. We had four because one wasn't enough. One was free. And the second one was Santa. And then they didn't have the other ones. So I got the two little ones. So two big ones, one filled with cream and two tiny ones. Since... I've eaten that. I have, do you know what this looks like, guys? A brick. Yeah. This brick is in my gut. I've been feeling like crap since I ate crap. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dying. Fucking dying. Second cup of coffee, which we don't drink because that's not allowed on our diet. But I'm dying because i have this stuck in me somewhere there's a brick and that's what it feels like dying okay dying any effing advice here besides coffee lots of coffee but i don't want to drink all the coffee because i can't sleep i'm on cup number two yes we're gonna resort to the stool softener we're gonna resort to this again i had it yesterday i had it the day before it's not working for the love of god man what do you do when you got a brick i am i am so effing bloated here it feels terrible what do you fucking do people okay ginger i've eaten so much water of ginger because ginger is supposed to be the natural remedy for bricks. It isn't moving it. No. All right, two more stool softeners because I don't want to do laxatives because laxatives give the worst cramps. Okay, there's so much ginger in here. I mean, it's just so much in here because I've just been grinding it up because of the brick. God. All right, that was sour as hell because we don't, oh no, we do not add equal to that. No, it is pure, pure, sour lime, lemon, lemon, and as much ginger as I can take because ginger is supposed to help you move the bricks. It hasn't worked. So this is like a confessional video of what happens when you do a cheat day, which is allowed, which is allowed, but I normally don't do it. And holy cow, do I regret it. Oh my God. I would have lost more weight this week if I could have gotten rid of the brick.
It's right here. It is right here. Can you hear that? It's like hard as a freaking rock. The brick. So this is the truth. How hard it is. Literally and physically. Whatever the hell. Y'all know what I mean, right? I just had to tell somebody. Because I've got no one to talk to. But I am constipated to hell. <laughs> I'm dying. And I'm never touching gluten again. It's just a shock to the system when you go weeks and weeks and weeks without it. And then, holy cow, my body is like, don't do this to us. Do not. I'm talking to my intestines when I look down. Because these intestines are saying, you back this up by having four Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> four. In a day. Because you can only go off it once. You can only go off it once a week. So it was like, get it all in. And they had to get it in before the time limit, too. So it was like a marathon race. <laughs> get it in before that clock. Because once that timer hits, back on. And we're back. We are back on. But we're still paying the price, so... Think wisely, people. Really, think wisely. Oh, my God. And I am planning. Oh, God, now it tastes like crap because I had a mouthful of lemon. I am thinking of having my Japanese food on Thursday. Because, well, we are allowed a cheat day and technically we are allowed rice. I think I could probably sub it out and do brown rice. But I really like white, sticky rice. But... The brick will probably just get bigger if we add to it. Are you going to get bigger if I add white rice to you? That's probably, that's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. But what does help is you usually get a um, cup of miso soup with it. And that that usually helps. That helps. Maybe that, maybe. I know the Chinese people, they drink, they literally drink warm or hot water. Hot water. And it makes sense. They say because it, like, gets the body into it, like, you know, because you're having, you're going to consume hot food. So they're like, drink a hot liquid, like, prepare the the pathway. That makes sense. But I'm American and I like it cold. But anyways, yeah, I just felt like sharing with somebody out there. If somebody's constipated, hon, you are not alone today. You haven't been alone for days. <laughs> They've been right there with you. The throne? Oh, God. I'm dying, people. I'm dying. And these stool softeners aren't cutting it. Any advice on what you do? I'm up for it. I'm up for home remedies. Leave it down below, please. Absolutely. Something I could do, like, right freaking now. I've tried laying in bed. I've tried doing the, mo the leg movements. I've tried... Pushing it out with your hands, which I have had success with in the past. I have been now. I've done all that. And there's even one where you literally get on all fours and just try to move it. When you have a brick for days, you will try anything, okay? Let me tell you. We have had a brick for days and I just am so blocked here. I feel like crap. I'm not, I don't have a blockage. I have gone, but it's not like, it's just not all coming out. It's like, it's just, it's literally a brick of gluten right in my gut. And I'm just so freaking bloated. So yeah, there's what happens when you go off your diet. But I really wasn't off my diet because you're supposed to be able to do that because they tell you like it's supposed to do something. I don't believe that to be honest with you. I don't believe in cheat days. Like I said, it's just, um, yeah, a hot minute. You can go off your diet, but still stay within the time frame. But hopefully now in Jan, no, I think we're probably more into February now because things have happened as usual in my life. They get pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. So I probably won't even talk about my diet until February now. Yeah, but by then I will have lost more weight, which is freaking awesome. But this is really awesome, though. I mean, I wish I could tell you how much I've lost in 42 days. It's really, really good. It's incredible. The diet is awesome. It's really awesome. It's hard. It's not easy. But it works. It works. So 
probably February now because things as of the hot minute right now, yeah, it's definitely going to be in January or oh, February. 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 Thanks for listening. And yeah, I kind of look like shit because I can't shit. Okay.